that going. Oops, there we got one more coming. Let me see if I can remember. Two, Hi, how you doing? Two people aren't going to make it. Andrew and McLean aren't going to make it. Okay, Andrew and McLean. So that brings me to a really good point. Let's see here. And you know what? I have Heather on your, um, on your Zoom, but you got to remind me your name. I've almost got him here. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, what was that one more time? Hamlin. That's right, okay. I got my name now. You did? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I don't know how to get my name. You know what you can do? So I actually just learned this too. Um, so you can go down to, let me see if I can do it myself while I'm saying it. So if you go down somewhere over here, no, that's not it. I know you guys know how to do it. What is the way that you change the name on there? Whoa, Parker's got some cool stuff going on. Was it the video? Um, I didn't change my name. My dad made it that, so I Oh, have you did? You know what? It's probably good that we don't know how to change our names. <laughs> That's okay. I'll make sure I know who you are, even if it's different on your, <laughs> on your um, video. How you doing, Poppy? I'm good. You doing good? All right. I'm in, I'm in the bug's life. Oh, cool. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice. I love a bug's life. Okay, so we got, I got added, and Andrew's not going to be here. Okay. All right, so um, I want to let you guys know, on that note, I am going to be recording the very beginning of class. <laughs> Uh, you guys are learning how to use this too well, and it's really funny, actually. Um, so the beginning of class, I'm going to record our lessons, and that way it's just a short lesson at the beginning of class, and then we're always going to have time either to work on an assignment or to work on what we're practicing on, okay? So while we are having that time to work on our, on our own stuff, I'm going to be able to ask you questions, you ask me questions, but we're going to stop the recording. So I'm telling you that because if you ever miss class, you can watch that recording after, okay? You can watch that recording after. So if you ever miss class and you want to watch it and see what we were talking about, you can watch that recording and always feel free to contact me and email me too, because I know it's kind of tough when we're all at home and we're trying to work our schedules out. Okay, so I want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to catch up if you if you miss. I'm going to get Sam and then Parker. I might miss the last little part of um, art. Okay, that's okay. That's actually perfect. If you ever have um, kind of like you're not going to be able to make the whole time, try to be here at the beginning because that's when we're going to go over the lesson. Okay, but if you don't, you can always watch it on the recording too. Okay. And then Parker, what do you got? Um, so are we allowed to like do one thing with our thing and then leave it like that with our like camera? Yeah, that's actually another really good point. If you want to have a background on your um, on your video, that's okay with me. I just don't want you to be going back and forth while we're in class. Okay, so you can if you want to pick one and just leave it. That's okay with me. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And then are we doing all right with Hudson over there? Y'all good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> all right, you guys. So let's go ahead. Today, what I want to do is draw a picture with you. And I'm going to go over the picture as we're working on it together. You can change it. You can make changes to it. But I want to draw it with you. And we're going to talk about our perspective, kind of like we touched on on last class. And we're going to talk about what is in front of us, what's to the side, what's behind. And we're going to draw it together, OK? So I'd like you to get some paper or your sketchbook. And then you can choose what you want to draw with. You can draw with a colored pencil. You can draw with a regular pencil. Perfect. Yes. Thank you, Mina. Yeah, so paper or your sketchbook. And then something you want to draw with. Good. All right. Parker's got a whole bunch of choices. <laughs> awesome, Parker. That's great. So you pick what you want to draw with. All right. And if you are using colored pencil for the drawing portion while we're drawing the outline, I'd like for you to use a darker color. 
Okay, so if you're using colored pencil or even marker, I'd like you to use a darker color first while we're doing the drawing. That could be black, could be blue, even a purple would be okay. All right, but I don't want you to use yellow or orange while we're doing the first part, while we're doing the drawing, okay? And then we'll have time to fill things in and, and block in color. Yay, perfect, good job, guys. Okay, all right, so Hudson, we got paper or sketchbook. And then also um, something to draw with, marker, colored pencil, regular pencil is fine. And then I'm gonna draw this picture with you. So I want you to go ahead, get your um, paper ready and you can get your, your um, tool ready, your pencil, your marker or your, whoops, we got one more coming in. Let's see, let me get her in here before we get going. All right, let's see. Let me see if she's gonna come in all the way there. And then I have Amy Haraven on the, um, oh, Mirabelle, there you are. Hi. <laughs> Oops, no, I'm sorry, it's not. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> I wasn't looking at you too closely there. You, Amy Haraven, what is your name? Because it's different than what's on your block there, right? That just came in. I'm sorry. I have it. Yeah. What is your name? Whoops. You're... Oh, yes. There we go. I'm sorry about that. I will have these down before you know what I'm telling you. Celeste. Okay. <laughs> Celeste. Yes. Welcome in, Celeste. We are going to draw a picture together today. Okay. So with your either paper or your sketchbook and then something to draw with pencil or marker, we're all going to get started together. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get my paper here and I'm going to get it right up in the camera so I can draw this picture with you. Let me get a little bit of this out of here. All right. And you can draw exactly what I'm drawing or if you want to change things or even you want to change the, the object I'm drawing, that's okay. But I do want you to think about what's to the side, what's in front, what's behind. All right, so I'm going to start with a tree. Whoops, let me get Ellery here. Yes, Ellery? Um, can I use black? Yes, yes. that would be perfect. Black would be perfect. Something dark enough that you're going to be able to see it well. All right, awesome. Black is perfect. And then we're going to start with a tree. So for a tree, when I'm drawing a tree, I like to start with my trunk. Just create my trunk here. And I just make two lines for a trunk. And then from that trunk, I just start to make some branches. So I can have the branches come up and they can come up kind of like little Y shapes coming up. And I can play with it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Making some branches coming up, coming up out of the trunk. You can just think about the trees that you've seen whenever you're walking around or if you're just sitting on your porch or on your deck, or even at school, there's a lot of trees over on campus. A lot of branches and you can make as many branches as you want. All the trees are different, right? Are you, are you at home? What was that? Are you at home? Yeah, <laughs> I am. I was at campus last time, <laughs> but I'm at home today. The little, the preschool, I have a daughter, Mazzy, who's in preschool, yeah. and she couldn't go to school today. So I am, she's actually, she's upstairs, but I am home. <laughs> so where's Sam? He's working at home too. Yep, everybody's at home. <laughs> what was I saw your cat, Parker, that's so cool. If you go to the Instagram post called Big Cat, cat sleeping, you'll see how fat he really is. Oh. <laughs> All right, so with your tree, depending on when it is in the season, you can decide if it's winter. Oh, cool. Celeste, that's awesome. So you can decide if it's winter and then you wouldn't have any leaves, right? But if it's in the summertime or even if it's in the fall or the spring, you're probably gonna have some leaves on there. Okay, whoops, Hudson, your paper keeps flopping. <laughs> We're so close. There you go, cool, yeah. 
Nice. Okay, so with this tree, you can decide if you want to add some, some leaves. You can go ahead and add some leaves in there. It is pretty fat. <laughs> uh -huh. He's a Garfield kitty. Yeah, yeah he's Garfield. His name is Marcus. Garfield. His name is Marcus. It should be Garfield. <laughs> he looks he very have the stripes, though. He doesn't have the black stripes. <laughs> That's true. He's not quite Garfield. Pretty close, though. <laughs> yeah, pretty fat. <laughs> not talking, though. He can't talk. All right, you guys, so I'm going to ask you a question. We have a tree. We have a tree. Now, we are going to fill in the rest of our scene. I'd like for you to help me fill in the scene. So can you tell me some other things that we could possibly have in this scene? What else would be around a tree? Let's go ahead. We'll go with Parker first. My, my tree is from a book called um, Dear, Dear Girl Hudson gave this book to me. Oh, so cool. I'm following this tree <laughs> with this girl on the swing. Nice. So we could have a girl on the swing. That's one thing. Or even just a swing. Okay. Let's see. So let's go over to Ellery. What else could we have in there, Ellery? We could have um, under a tree or some grass or some mountains in the back. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Some mountains, some grass. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. What was the first thing you said? Was it pets, Ellery? Pets? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So we'll put pets or animals. Anybody else have anything that you would like to add into the scene? Anything else you think might be in there? Yes, Parker. Maybe some lovely flowers. Some lovely flowers. You can maybe make the shadow of the tree under. So use like a different shade of green maybe. Okay, very good. Like okay. this green. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. So let me go to Sam and then I'll come back over to Ellery here. Yes, Sam. I'm working on my golf course from the last time. That's okay. That's great. You know what? While you're working on your golf course, I want you to think about some of the things we're talking about with, um, with this picture, which is just your perspective. What's to the side? You know, where's the, um, what's it called? The big stick that comes out of the hole in the golf? In the uh, golf. Um, the flag. flag. Yeah, the flag. You know, where's the flag? Where's the hole? Where's the hill? Just kind of thinking about where things are in space, okay? I'm still, I'm just still working on the tee boxes. Okay, cool. That's great. You can use perspective in that too. Uh, let's see, Ellery and then Celeste. Oh, cool. That looks very cool, Gamlin. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Uh, yes, Ellery. Have a right above the girl with the swing. How about we add a bird? A bird? Okay, very good. All right, thank you, Ellery. And then let's get Celeste, and then we're going to come back to our picture. Yes, Celeste. I just wanted to say in my picture it's snowing because I wanted to make it a, a, a winter tree with no leaves surrounded by other dead. Nice. Awesome, Celeste. Thank you. So that's exactly the kind of stuff that I want us to be thinking about. Thinking about where things are. We're also thinking about what time of day it is or what time of the year it is. We have all these things we can tell that tell a story with our pictures. Okay, so let's start adding some of these things. So let's say if we had a girl on a swing. So if you don't already, and if you, and remember, you can choose what you wanna add. Cool, Hudson, yeah, I like those mountains in the background. Nice. So remember, you can choose what you wanna add. You can use some of the things that I'm adding, or you can choose other things that you wanna add to your picture. But when we're adding a girl on a swing, we're gonna to have to have a branch that comes out a little bit more horizontal, right? Just coming out like this instead of flipped it up this way like this. So if we have a branch coming out this way. Your girl, um, it isn't really in the picture that I'm doing. See how there is no branch. Oh, I see. If you, yeah, very good point. 
So if you have a bunch of leaves, you wouldn't have a branch that you could see, but she's That's probably nice. still on a branch, right? She's probably still in, in a branch somewhere in real life, like in like <laughs> the inside seconds. of the inside of the leaves, right? So all of this is really good to think about. So if you could see your branches, you could probably see a little attachment, maybe like a little line where the edge of the swing comes in and then you'd have the swing coming down this way and you probably see a little edge at the bottom, right? Just a little swing coming down. All right, so if you wanna add a swing, think about where it would attach on the tree and you can add that in there. We're gonna leave the girl for last because people have kind of a lot of parts to them, huh? A lot of parts on people. So we're gonna leave the girl for last, that detail if you wanna add it. But we are gonna go into the mountains. If you don't already have the mountains, let's think about where that would be in space. So we have the tree, we have the swing. Where do you think the mountains would be? Yes, Parker. Behind the tree. Behind the tree, that's right. So make sure, just like Hudson did with his, when you're drawing your line, you don't want it to come on top of the tree. You want it to stay behind, right? So for mountains, we'll go ahead and put our mountains in there. I like to do mountains that are a little different, right? So maybe this comes up higher over this way and maybe comes back down and there's a smaller ridge. So I think a lot of times when you look at mountains, they're not all the same height, right? Some are higher, some are lower. So I feel like it looks a little more natural. And some are pointy and some aren't. Exactly. So it's nice to have some variation, some differences between your mountains. It makes it look a little more realistic. And all these things that we're talking about are just ways that you can draw things that look a little more realistic, all right? All right, so we have got some mountains in there. And remember, you can choose what you want to add. You want to add it. You need to go. That's okay, Hudson. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to have this video up if you want to come back and see what happened after you left, okay? All right, okay. thanks, Hudson. <laughs> I'll see you later. Uh, yes. Camelin, yes. It's Carrie at a house. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> you can add a house. Yes, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. If anybody wants to add a house, you can add a house, but I want you to think about whether it would be the same size as the tree or whether it'd be bigger, right? And think about whether it's going to be behind the tree or maybe next to the tree, right? So I want you to think about where it is, where it is in space, anything that you're adding. Uh, let, yes, uh, Celeste. I want to add are we allowed to use paper and glue it on the page to make it look cool with all the colors? Sure, yeah. If you want to add some other supplies, that's okay with me. I just want you to make sure you keep your workspace neat. So if you're using glue, you got to be super careful that you close the lid as soon as you finish it, okay? And then, Mina, were you saying something? <laughs> you all right? Um, I might have to work out of where you could see me. That's okay. That's okay. I'm, gonna, I'm pro. I gotta. I'm gonna um, have. I. I. I've done two pages. Oh. So now I need to add another. Okay. So I'm gonna have to work down on the floor. Okay. No worries. That sounds good. Sometimes you work better on the floor. And that goes for everybody. If you feel like you're gonna be more comfortable in a different setup, especially when we're drawing, it's nice to find a place where we feel super comfortable. If you're frustrated and you wanna start over, that's okay with me too, okay? Because I want for this class to be a class where we get to relax a little bit and have fun with our drawings. I wanna teach you stuff, but I want for you to feel comfortable. Whoa, Mina, cool. Wow, look at that. Whoa, nice references. Yeah, very cool. Okay, Parker and then Ellery. On mine, I do pencil with um, this pen pencil since it doesn't really have the sharpest point. You can't really draw with it. I did the pencil and then a marker over it to make there you it go. like this. Yeah, there you go. Nice, that's a really, really good idea. If you're, if you're using is too dull, 
it's harder, huh? Yeah, nice, Parker. I told her. Okay, so yeah, if you're using a tool that gets too dull, you can always switch. A marker is usually good, a pen is usually good. If your pencil is too dull or a crayon or something is too dull, you can always switch. Uh, Ellery, yes. I'll <laughs> mean. Thanks, Parker. What was that, Ellery? We add a, sun. a sun. We'll put that on the list. The yep, sun. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to keep on adding. Let's keep on adding and we'll put a sun as well. So for R, we had mountains and we had grass. So for grass, when you look at grass, there's a lot of little tiny blades of grass, huh? If we were to draw every single blade of grass, how long do you think that would take? Really long time. Yeah. <laughs> a really long time. And some well, artists like to do that. Yeah, it's true. So one way that you can draw something like grass is you can draw the line. For instance, if we have some grass that's coming around the tree, maybe we draw some little zigzaggy lines in there to show that there's some grass. And then we could keep having those zigzaggy lines come across, cross the edge of the paper, I'm just going to do it really quickly here, all the way across. So I've got kind of the top I line. Guess, of the I grass. guess is, um, I usually will just color it in, and then I'll use like a darker pencil or a marker yeah. just to make little tiny blades. Exactly. So that's one thing that you could do. You can block in all the color with green, because then our mind starts to think, oh, it's green. It must be grass. And then... You can choose a couple little spots in your grass where maybe you add a couple more. So in the shade where there, the grass in there. there's some in the shade where they're um, in the shade of the book. Uh-huh. The book that I'm looking at, there's flowers in there. So like usually you would see like a um, blade of grass and then the flower, but it's now it's just showing just the flowers like popping out of the grass. Yeah. Yeah. So there's different ways that you can do flowers. A lot of times when you see flowers, let's say that there's this little area that has the grass in it. So maybe you'd see a stem coming up and then you'd see the petals, right, of the flower. So a lot of times there's a little area of grass and those are just those leaves coming up around the flower. So a lot of times when you're drawing, that's how you're gonna see it. Now, some artists will do it differently. Maybe they just have it colored in a certain color and the flower is coming out, right? But we can do, use that tool to draw some flowers. The difference with flowers and the grass is generally they have a stem that's a little longer, right? It's a little bit longer than the blades of grass. So all of these things are observations that we're making. It's just a way of looking at things and thinking about how you would draw it. Okay, so remember you can draw whatever you'd like onto your picture, but if you wanna add anything that I'm adding, you can add that too. And those words I have on the bottom are just the, the ideas that you had of what you wanted to add to your picture. All right, so let's see what else we've got here. Flowers, now birds. When you're drawing birds, there's kind of a fun way to draw a bird that's really far away. And you've probably seen it. It kind of looks almost like a V shape. And I'm gonna do one for you. So you can see, it's kind of a V shape. And then the ends, you can just draw them a little bit longer. And you'll notice the next time you see a bird flying in the sky, especially like a hawk or an eagle, if they're really far away, their wings are coming off to the sides and their body is at the bottom and it kind of looks like a V. So that's one way that you can draw birds and show that there's birds in your picture, but it's really oh simple. My dad taught me how mm -hmm. to, what it was. He said it looks like a book, kind of. He taught yeah. me it looks like a book. That it's is a, an awesome book. way to describe it. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. That's a really good way to describe it. So it's like a book when a book is open. Yeah, thank you, Parker. Exactly, yeah. Thank you, Parker, that's a really good example. 
Yep. So that's how the birds look when they're really far away. So when you're drawing birds in this context, when you have a bunch of other stuff going on, then it's nice to have them kind of off in the distance and really simple, really simple. Now, if you have a cool bird like bird book like Mina does, you could draw some more detailed ones. You can draw them up close. You can draw a bigger one on a branch if you want, but when they're far away, that's one way that we can do it. Cool, Mina, thanks. All right, so let's see what else we have on our, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and add, you can add as many birds as you like, but remember when birds fly, a lot of times they fly in that V shape or there'll be a couple of them together. All right, not so much with hawks, but with other birds, right? So you can, you can think about those shapes. And you guys, a lot of you guys probably studied birds with um, Miss Brenda last year, right? Did some of you guys do that project? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you, you can take your knowledge of what you've learned, because the more we know about something, the better we are at drawing it, because we have more e details that we can add. Nice, Parker. I like your different greens in there and your flower. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what else we've got on here. We have our birds. I'm going to add a couple more on mine. And then we have the sun. We want them to add the sun. So if it is the middle of the day, I whoops. Want to add my sun. I don't want to add my sun piece that is, isn't enough. Oh, it's not enough. That's okay. You don't have to add it. Just add the parts that you want to add to your picture because it's your picture, it's your choices that you're making. Uh, let's see, Celeste. Yes, Celeste? You finished your started picture? started a new, a new picture that I'm Oh, you did. Pieces. Yeah, I finished my picture and I showed you another picture. Is that okay? Of, of course, absolutely. If you finish your picture or if you decide you want to start over, you're welcome to. Yes, that is absolutely fine. All right, I'm gonna add a couple more things on this one here. Um, for the sun, let's talk about the sun for a second. If the sun, if it's the middle of the day, where do you think the sun would be? Oh, wow, Jack, let's see it. You already put the sun in there, cool. Nice. Wow, you got a lot going on in there, Jack, very cool. <laughs> Now, if you want to keep adding things with me, you're welcome to, or if you feel like you're done and you want to start working on coloring and filling in your shapes, you can do that too. Okay, so if you've got your outline in there, you're feeling good about the way your drawing looks for you today, you can start to color it with any colored markers or with um, colored pencils too, okay? Um, so for the sun, does anybody know if it was the middle of the day where the sun would be? So the sun, if it's the middle of the day, and you can kind of think, oh, I'm sorry, Ellery, yes. Yeah, that's right. Nice work, Ellery. Very good. So if it's the middle of the day, the sun is super high up, right? But if the sun is going down or it's coming up, then it's gonna be further down in your picture too. So you can think about when you're drawing something, where you want your son to be. If you're adding your son, that's actually a little bit of information that you can show somebody with your picture. Where is the sun in your picture? I'm gonna decide maybe that the sun's going down on mine. Maybe mine's gonna be a little closer to sunset. Yes, uh, Parker. In the book, this is all I'm seeing in the book. Yeah. You, know, you won't really actually see these. I'm drawing it. Oh, these. cool. It. Yeah. Some little vines. Nice. That's a beautiful addition. I like it's it. On my picture. Oops. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I like that. That's a really nice addition to the picture. There's like barely any yellow in the other flower because you're not supposed to have any yellow in it. You just want a tiny bit. Yeah, one tiny bit. Nice. I like that. I like those vines. That looks really good. That was a good choice for your picture. All right. Oops. Camden, did I see you? Hold it up for a second. Is that even worse? It's Cameron. Not what? Cameron. <laughs> Camden. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that one. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. <laughs> Whoa, Cameron, look how much you added in there. I'm so sorry, Cameron. I'm going to have to get you a special treat for how many times I've messed up your name today. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. That is so cool. So we've got some mountains. We've got our trees. We've got some clouds up there. What do you have over to the, to the side? Oops, you're muted there, Cameron. A house. See? I, that's what I was thinking. Cool. So you right have here is supposed to be the sun, and then right here is supposed to be the light. Oh, wow, cool. Wow, so you have your house, you have your trees, and the sun's up there, it's the middle of the day. Nice, and then the mountains are in the back. Very good, so you did great with your perspective on that. And there's a swing. Yeah, and then is that a fence back there too? Yeah. Nice, oh my gosh, Cameron, that's great. So that is a really good example of what we're working on here in terms of our perspective, right? We could see where the fence was. We could see where the trees were. And then behind it, we could see that there's mountains back there. So now we have this whole world that we're looking at in Cameron's picture. And that's really cool because that's what we're trying to create. The more we learn about where things are and how to show that, the more people can understand about what's going on in our picture. I'm gonna go ahead and add my sun. I think that my time of day is gonna be a little later. So the sun's gonna be going down. So I'm going to have my son tuck behind my mountains, okay? So I'm going to have my son tuck behind the mountains. If you ever have the sun going down, a lot of times you can't quite see the whole thing. So it's just tucked behind. Depending on how you show the light of the sun, like Cameron was talking about, the light of the sun, you can either fill it in to show the light or you can kind of show some rays that the sun has, right? Those little rays of light sticking up like that. Um, and then let me talk to Cameron. I saw your hand up. On the outside of the picture, can you uh, put like a, uh, like a, like, like a driveway? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the house gotta have a driveway, huh? <laughs> Absolutely, you can add that. Uh, let's see, how's everybody else doing? Does anybody need a check-in? Do you want me to look at anything for you? you? Guys are working hard today. How you doing there, Jack? Doing all right? Good, okay. All right, so let's see, we have our swing, our mountains, our grass, our sun. We added some flowers. We have some birds. We also wanted to add some animals. So animals are really fun to add in pictures and they're kind of tricky because we have to think about the size. So let's say that I put a cat in here and let's say that I made it this big. Does that seem right next to the tree? No, that's a little bit too big, huh? So that's one thing we have to be careful of whenever we're working on animals. You gotta make sure, and you can even picture when you see an animal standing next to a house or standing next to a tree, in this context, it's gonna be pretty small. It's gonna be pretty small. So let's pick one. Maybe we'll just do a little squirrel or chipmunk or something here. And I'm just gonna draw the shape of it. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty small and it's okay if it's a little bigger than it would be in real life, just for the sake of the drawing. So it's big enough that you can draw it. But just think about making it small enough. So let's say I have this little guy, he's got his head and his body, and then a big curly tail. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that in there so you can see right there. That's the shape of the squirrel. So with the squirrel, they have that tail that curves around. So if you're drawing an animal that has kind of a distinctive quality or just something that you really notice about it, for instance, the squirrel has that curly tail, then if you get that shape, it'll help people to know what it is. A cat kind of has a tail like that also. If you're drawing a dog, they tend to have a different tail. It usually just kind of flips up depending on what kind of dog it is, right? So we're just thinking about using what we see or what we remember, what we see in life, what we're looking at or what we remember in our minds and just using those observations to make a picture that looks a little more realistic, right? All 
All right, everybody. So I'm going to let you guys keep working on this one here. You can choose to add the same, um, the same items that I'm adding in my picture, or you can choose to add something different. You can always choose to add something different. And if you have the drawing the way you like it, you like the way it's come out, you can start to color. You can start to color in the mountains. You can start to color in the background. You can use your color to give us a little more information. Like Parker was saying, if we color the bottom green, then people will start to understand that that's the grass. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's right, Poppy. You do those really cool horses. I remember. Nice. I really like that shape with the horse coming down to eat the grass or drink the water. I really like that shape. That's really cool. So Poppy, you could start to do some, some detail on there too, if you'd like, or you could put him in a setting. Maybe he's in the grass or maybe there's a mountain behind him. That would be a perfect shape to kind of build a little bit of a setting around. I've, I've done many like actual, like just like horses, but I haven't colored them in just I couldn't find the right shape I wanted or I did something wrong in them, so. Yeah. Do you want to try coloring this one in? Yeah, this is the one. Awesome. Yay. I'm glad you found the one, Poppy. All right. Let's go to Ellery. Yes, Ellery. I'm done with my picture. You're done? Can I see it? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Let's see. The page is flipping over a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Wow, let's see, we got our tree, we got our sun, we have our grass. What is that in the, in the bottom there? I can't quite see it on the, on the bottom in the grass, Ellery? Um, you mean right there? The, no, the, that red shape, that red, it's kind of cut off on the edge of the screen. That, there's like a red corner of box. That, is, that box, it's actually, they, a um, lunch. There. Nice! That's so creative. I love it. All right. Wow, you got a lot going on there. I really love your details. Right there's a car. And then right next to the house, that little brown spot is a little dog. Oh my like, goodness. Wait, no, it's a deer. A deer, okay. Wow, cool, Ellery. Thank you so much for showing me. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at a couple other people here. Thank you, Ellery. Uh, let's see, let's go to Jack and then we'll go to Parker. I'm done. You're done too, can I see it? Whoa, look at that. So we've got our tree, we've got the swing, we've got the mountains in the back, the sun. Wow, very cool, Jack. Thank you. All right, hang tight, Jack and Ellery. I want to check with a couple other people here before I let you guys go. Uh, let's see, Parker? There's a weird nest in that cool. What was that? Oops, I didn't hear you, Parker. What did you say? There's one last thing I really quickly need to do, but um, it'll be really, okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> no worries, that's okay. Okay, so. Okay, wow, we got some vines. And there's yeah. the, side, the side branch. Yeah. And then I got my other flower. Nice. And now all I need to do is the girl. Yeah, that's exactly, that's the last thing we got there. Cool, okay, thank you. Sam, how you doing? Hi. Oh, you did. Awesome. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on, Celeste. Let me check in with Sam, and then I'll be right over to you. Uh, let's see, Sam. And this is this the golf? Are those the golf um, holes there, Sam? Golf tees. The golf tees. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm not going to. Starting on the fairway. Okay. okay. Excellent. So we got the fairway, and then we've got the golf tees. Very good. And is this the whole, are you looking at the whole course from above? Is that how you're thinking about it? Yeah, or like you're standing like right next to the course looking like this. 
Okay. So you're kind of looking down at all that you have ahead of you for your course, what you got to work on today. Yeah. Cool. I like actually the way that you did it on a long strip like that because it made it so that you can feel like you're looking down the course. That's really cool, Sam. If I, if I did just one page, it'd be so short. It'd only right. be that long. You'd only get one or two T's on there, huh? I'd get two T's and no fair, fairway, and I'd have to do everything miniature. Right, exactly. So that was a really good choice for that to use the long paper. Golf course. Yeah, <laughs> a miniature golf course. A long golf course. Nice, very good choice, Sam, to use that long paper. I like that. And look how different everybody is too with your with your choices here. I'm going to go to Celeste, and I'm going to go over to Cameron. Uh, yes, Celeste. I'm going to show you my this picture. This is my first picture. It has a hollow. And You're frozen. I can't see you. Celeste. Yeah, I can't. Your um, picture's frozen. I'm sorry. Celeste, I can't see you. I can hear you, but your picture's frozen, actually. I don't think she can hear us. I don't think so. Let me chat to her. Whoops. Maybe she'll come back stronger here. Let me do a little chat to her so she can see. Okay, just a second, guys. I'm gonna just write her a note. Is it better now? I tried turning off my video a few times. Hmm. So, whoop, there you are, Celeste. I'm so sorry, I could barely hear you and I couldn't see you for a big chunk of that. Do you want to, let me go ahead, let me go over to Ellery and Cameron and then I'm going to check back with you and see if it's better, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check with Ellery and Cameron and then we'll go back. Uh, Cameron, yes. Right here's the backyard. There's only one wheeling. <laughs> one so wheeling? Like on a unicycle? What does that mean, one so wheeling? It's like when you push something that has one wheel, and then you push down, you push down the go, and you push back, you go backwards, and then you lift up your foot. It's so, one of the things that, like, you stand on it, and it has the two wheels, and you can, like, spin around on it. Oh, it's oh. just one wheel. Oh, it's that oh. one? It's like that one, but instead it has, like, one wheel in your right. Oh my goodness! It's, okay, it's, one wheel. It's wheeling. called the thing, and you're just riding on it. Oh. Then there's, oh. there's a car, and there's a bike rack, and there's a garage, and then like right here, there's like a door, and then right here, there's like a sprinkle wall, and then there's like bushes, and. Wow. <laughs> cool. I like that. Uh, so is this supposed to be the back of the same house, Cameron? The house that we had before? This is uh, where the backyard is, and this is where the front yard is. Oh, yay! I love that. So I really like how you guys are using your format to make things 3D, right? So we had the golf course that we went all the way down that long strip of paper. And then, Cameron, that was so cool. You have the front and then the back of the house. I love that. That's really neat. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go with Ellery, and then I'll come over to you, Mina. So, why I was all done with my picture, I just made this little hole. Oh, and what's happening in that hole? Do you, is it just a hole that you've thought about or is it a hole that has a story behind it? So like you, if you, if this was real life and you went into it, there'd be like all, all like sorts of things what are colored and what are 
Wow, very interesting. I would love to explore what is in that hole, Ellery. Cool. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Mina, can I see yours? Are you, oh, Mina, are you getting tired? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Don't worry, we're almost done. Um, wow, look at that. So let's see. And then what's in the back there? So we got, okay, oh, wow, we got our cool bird on the perch. We got the sky. And is it moon and stars up there? Nice, very cool. And then what is on the back? <laughs> I'm mainly drawing the out. It's um, in northern star white owl. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what it's called. Okay. Yeah, northern star white owl. All right. Interesting. And I and um, I was I'm I was gonna draw, color it in. I told my sister to get um, I have colored pencils. But um, we moved my desk because I used to be working with my sister, but her headphones died. So I told her to get my um my my colored pencils, but she never got them for me. Oh. So I I've been like waiting for the whole time for yeah. my colored pencils, but now I'm done coloring. Get it? You know what? Since you didn't have your colored pencils, and I know that's a bummer when you don't have the supplies you want. But I kind of like the way you did your night sky with the dark. It's actually pretty cool looking. So even though you didn't have your colored pencils, you did a really cool job with the shading, the way you did your cross strokes forward and then sideways like that. It looks really interesting. So nice work, even though you didn't have your colored pencils. I think that's great. Thank you, Mina. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go over to Parker and then Celeste. I'm done with my picture. All right, let's see it. Ooh, we got the girl in there and the hair is flowing. I like it. Because, um, <laughs> In the book. Yep. All it's over there. flowing, you're right. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Parker. Nice job. Let's see. Uh, Celeste, let's see if we can if we can go back to you. You look clearer, so let's give it a try, Celeste. <laughs> um, can you hear me? I can. It's a little choppy, but I can hear you. Okay, there we go, yeah. Okay, so I saw we saw that was a really cool teapot. I really like the way that you took it on the two pages like that. So a lot of you guys are being really creative with the space that you have to work with and to show a little bit more about your picture, right? That was really cool. So the way you had it opening up. What was that? Oh, I lost that last part, but um, but I think I got the idea though. That was really neat. I love the way that you had it span over the two pages. All right, that was really cool. And I really like your detail on that teapot as well as your tree. That tree was really, really amazing. It was so different than a lot of the other trees that we've had today in class, right? Oh, yeah, now we got another tree for the backyard. So now you're looking at it from the other side. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's so great, Cameron. Very cool. All right, you guys, we are gonna wrap up here. I know I've kept you here the whole time. Let me get Sam, yes, Sam? I decided to stop coloring and with my mind, I just 
made a little staircase going up and down. Nice. That's a really good idea, Sam. Thank you. Sometimes when we get tired of doing one thing, it's nice to shift gears a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Sam. All right, you guys. So you did really, really, really well today. I'm really excited for all of your drawings and all that you thought about and all that you were working on with your angles, your point of view. And you guys had really creative ideas for your point of view. So thank you so much for working so hard. We're going to come to our next class again with some drawing tools, either your colored pencils or markers and some paper. Okay. And then we're going to get some assignments going here too, that you guys can turn in. All right. So thank you so much. It's been really fun getting to know you guys. Um, I think I already lost Cameron, but I'm so sorry. I messed up his name <laughs> today, but I'm going to keep it forever now. All right. Thank you guys. I'm going to see you soon. Bye. 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 See you. See you. Bye. 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 Oh, cool, Poppy. Woohoo. I love those horses. I need to get those scissors. <laughs>